Yes, hello. Hi, Subodhi. How are you? Yes, I am good. Thank you. How are you? Okay, I think seventy percent, eighty percent, I am okay. Oh, you are like uh, taking medication? Yes, Ayurveda. Okay. I am taking little, just for three, four days. I took uh, some allopathic medicines. Yeah, that's what you told that. Way. Yeah. Uh, after that, again, I came on Ayurveda. Okay. And I have been taking Ayurvedic medicines and 80%, uh, 70-80% you can say I am quite well. Just uh, tomorrow I will go to my doctor again for okay. taking medicines for next 5 days or 3 days or like this. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, what would you like to do? I have got some actually, you know, um, questions for the discussion. If you like to go with that or? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so it's a very common question as you know that we go uh, definitely we go outside into any public place and we see these days that the people means uh, I'm talking about ladies and girls Okay. That they means uh, have sleeveless tops, or sometimes means they they put on you know some kind of cloths where their body is exposed. Means their legs are exposed, their arms are exposed. So. Sometimes in India it is not means uh, very popular, but these days means the young boy, young girls, the ladies, they put on such type of cloths and they expose their body in public. And it is very common in US in other countries also. So what do you think means, uh, is it? okay means are you okay with this or sometimes do you think that it is to be stopped or there should be some limit yeah. or yeah, exactly. what is your opinion uh, about it i understand your question because hmm. i mean uh, if they are comfortable we cannot uh, have anybody like to wear I mean, because it's their comfortability and their wish and their freedom. But I have some concerns in this one. Uh, the first one is like uh, they have to think like uh, uh, what appropriate dress they have to wear based on the uh, activity. Example, I mean to say like suppose they are going to temple. I mean, that is like holy place and we are not going to give attention on us to other people. We are going to temple to see the God and pray the God. Okay. Mm. So what happens if they wear this kind of dress in temples? So the attention, I mean, I mean, 
we are humans, right? So what happens, the attention goes to, I mean, that, that I think that is not the appropriate way. Because in US, I don't know, in India, in US, uh, many of the temples, so they clearly mentioned in the board itself, they should not come like, uh, I mean, some kind of uh, uh, jeans or like uh, meetings or like even men uh, shorts, you know. They have to wear like uh, appropriate dress, whatever. I mean. So that way, they know like what to wear to the temple. Okay, that mm. is uh, one thing. Uh, other than that, example I need to say, I mean, uh, in schools or colleges or some, those are the places like to, I mean, study centers or something like that. If if there is any uh, nightclub parties and they are wearing those things, that is up to them because they are going to those kind of places and uh, it's like, uh, I mean, uh, but even, I mean, I, I, I'll, I'm not saying like I restrict my data, but we, me and my, my wife and me teach like what is the appropriate dress to wear when we go based on the uh, occasion. So what happens, some example, suppose I'm going to visit one of my friend's place. So I don't like to wear my data like those kind of dresses. So if she is going to um, going with their friends to some I mean picnic or some like uh, any kind of some active movie or something like that, I'm okay for that because what happens? It's like uh, the I mean even some places what happens like uh, if nine people are wearing those kind of dresses, I cannot restrict my daughter to wear pajamas. I mean, by Punjabi dress, I need to say, like, uh, mm -hmm. how we wear in India. Mm -hmm. Because uh, they, they should go by, I mean, uh, the, the, the friends, and I'm not saying, like, uh, suppose if they drink, my, my da I'm okay to drink my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There is some, I mean, kind of, like, uh, Barometer is there, and it's like uh, we cannot. Uh, I mean, again, it's it's, it's uh, family to family varies, and uh, some people what they feel like if they wear those kind of dress, they feel like uh, it's a culture. It's not right. My society, it's not like that. I mean, whatever we wear, like uh, I mean. That should be appropriate, and uh, they have to carry the dress. You know what I'm saying? That, Me, that, yes, that you. Yeah, yeah, I have understood your answer. What you mean to say means uh, it definitely depends on the people, or it depends on the person who is going to wear a particular kind of dress for a particular occasion or for a particular place as yeah. you have already given example here that if uh, we are going to temple it is always instructed there that the people are not allowed to wear jeans and shorts and all so they should be in their traditional dress if they come to yeah. temple and definitely if they are going to parties they can wear you know certain type of uh, dress or like this uh, it's okay but it's still I think that uh, it is people's choice and they should be very I think careful about it if they are um, uh, going to attend any kind of meeting or if they are going to attend a function or any public program or whatever. So yes, they should my be... Daughter, hmm. Even my daughter attends for any kind of uh, 
meetings online class i mean some some kind of uh, things like uh, volunteer work always you wear like pressure that is definitely it is very compulsory yeah. for mm-hmm. them to put on uh, they yes. should look I, professional there yes mm-hmm. uh, i think and uh, i i mean again to go the peer also they follow very very nicely and they even when they come to office also they wear appropriate dress again it's it's a good thing to go the i mean uh, i mean it, uh, we cannot uh, restricted to the to its their beach and uh, again yeah there should be some thin line is there like uh, yeah we cannot restrict or we cannot uh, uh means compel our children to do that but at least we can teach them that they yes. they should put on such kind of clothes uh for a particular occasion for a meeting for, or they definitely understand all these things so instead of forcing them to do something we must teach them that is yes. the that is the thing so definitely it depends even if uh, i apply all these things on myself then when i go for a walk in the morning i put on short definitely i put on short and t-shirt and sport shoes and a cap sport cap or whatever but when i go to uh any you know occasion for any traditional function like then that time i put on trouser and shirt and all sometime blazer tie and all these things if i go to any institute to interact with the students i put on some other kind of clothes that depends yes. definitely but uh, it is people's choice finally of what they want to do but still i think the people are very much aware of all these things and only i think 2 3% of the people are there in any country who don't take care what they wear yeah, otherwise yeah. 90% of the people are aware that what again this okay. so, was it's a, it's a, like a, anywhere like a, any if you take anything there is no like 100% accuracy or like something like that right i mean some people they say like okay i mean you if you say like okay you have to go this way that is good some people they feel like okay why should i go this way i will go that way i mean it's their choice we cannot uh, uh, always there will be like a it is common person. tendency actually it is common tendency uh, and yeah. we should not mind it yeah yeah this is common tendency of the people yes yeah, so, um, Uh, I consider like uh, uh, based on the highest percentage how it is uh, going on. Example like uh, suppose uh, uh, politicians. Example I am giving politicians are there. If you take hundred people, if they are like uh, good people, are they are like sixty percent? Then I consider like okay, they are good because at least the percentage is high. You know what I am saying? I'm, I'm not saying like uh, they are good, but just I'm giving example based on that. <laughs> yes, hundred percent. Hundred percent of anything is not sure or yes. is not certain. Yes. That is, you know, by law, by the law of the God, you can say. Yes. Okay. So let me go to. next question okay what do you think about piercing ears or nose as you know of course the girls uh, their ears are pierced in their childhood itself even in my you know family even the boys ears 
are also pious. Even my ears were pious in my childhood. Yeah. So, what do you think about that culture? Means whether it is yeah, related to yeah. science. Yeah, or... I'm, I'm, I'll explain a little bit on that one also. Hmm. Not only piercing and the tattoos also. We can combine both of them in one way. So, again, uh, I, I'm, I don't know about like uh, science and all those things, but then if there is a tradition, definitely I'll follow. Means like, uh, I mean, if they uh, put something means like uh, my our uh, grandfather, grandfather, then it means uh, there is something. So uh, I mean, definitely I'll I'll rest like that and uh, uh, I'm okay for like uh, here and here, but. Uh, some people they do like uh, the holes here, here, and here, <laughs> and big, big holes. And uh, I mean, uh, again, it, it, it's up to them, but uh, we don't like it. We, me and my wife, and uh, uh, even you know, my daughter, after one or two times, like, okay, my friends are doing that, and I, I wanted to do. We said very strictly, like, okay, no, no. If you want, you can do whatever you want after marriage. Yeah. Because yeah. that time, that time she will know what is uh, what, and uh, so we don't need to teach her that time at that the age. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we say. And uh, regarding tattoos, uh, some people they do like. Uh, complete whole body, different, different pictures, uh, I mean, uh, I don't like it, but maybe if there is any science, one, uh, one picture or something, I mean, I, I used to see at my old days, they used to come to our homes and they used to do some kind of, I mean, we cannot say that type, tattoos, I don't know that time, but some kind of <coughs> pictures or they, uh, they think like uh, it, it, it is good for some health or something like that. They used to do. I mean, when I was uh, childhood days, uh, their they, uh, get up also different. Who used to come home and they do some kind of tattoos, small, small things. That's what I feel. It's my personal opinion. As far as the tattoos um, um, is concerned, I don't think it is good for the uh, human body or skin because they are harmful because after means piercing the, with the needle, they put some ink into it. So it, it takes the shape of a kind of picture or it is called tattoo. It is not good for health. But that has been a tradition that piercing ears and nose. I think it, it has some relation with the science also as I read. So it is good for when we pierce our you know ears. It is good for some you know points are there. I don't know everything in detail. But I know that it has some relation with science. So... Even you know the ladies, they put on some rings in their toes and all. <coughs> yes. That is also at, a tradition. At the time of marriage, we do. Yes. We have that tradition. That also has some connection with science. So this is Hindu culture. I definitely follow that and I always encourage my daughter and uh, ch other children to do that. Or to go or to follow that kind of tradition. So it is good. Because this is our, but these days, you know, uh, in uh, other countries, the people passing their tongue and all, yeah, this is what, bad actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know how useful it is, but because I have never seen such kind of thing in my country. So I don't think uh, it is going to be useful for no. uh, I, I saw in one of the movie also that movies also the actresses they they put that uh, in uh, tongue also. 
Yeah, even they they pierce their you know that eyelid, yeah, eyelid yeah. or how it is whether it is dangerous or whether it is useful I don't know that it may be dangerous that piercing you know eyelid so well but uh, it, it hasn't been here in my country so well but piercing is good my ears were pierced in the in my childhood still I have some marks here means the, the hole is closed almost means filled up but uh, still you know the mark is there okay so So, <clears throat> what do you think that, you know, in the society, uh, there are a lot of people who do different works, like teachers are there, doctors, engineers, scientists, IT professionals, and some other people who conduct other type of business, like they may be tailors, or they may be selling some you know groceries or whatever so what do you think that um, what kind of work is a novel job or profession in your opinion of course every work no i am not comparing actually the work every work is important like a appropriate job or a high professional job that I mean novel job, I am not talking about, uh, I am not comparing all these people with their salaries or all these things. Okay. I am talking about the novel job. Of course, each and every work is important. Even the tailor is important, even the shoemaker is important for us. I am not comparing them with their work. I am comparing with their job, means how novel their job is whether a farmers are also there in the society they grow novel means what do you mean by that because i didn't understand uh, novel means uh, a kind of means uh, the human services you can say means uh, which is great for human or uh, they are they are respected yeah. much in the society. Okay, uh, and yeah. yeah, I can. Uh, so, uh, already you explained the same. I mean, already you answered the question. So like, uh, it's, it depends on the person to person. It varies, and it's their. Uh, I'm not saying luck or like uh, their hard work. Maybe or some people they don't have like even. That facility, that's why they are not becoming like uh, higher positions. That is different story completely. But uh, any job, in, in my opinion, any job is good strategy. It's like our satisfaction and our happiness. Based on that, uh, that will that will uh, lead our life. Why I am telling, I used to get in 96 or 97, first my first job is like 1500 rupees in India. 1500 rupees. Now I am getting a little bit, I mean, decent amount. So, but how I felt at that time and how I am feeling right now, both are same. There is no change. Maybe I used to drive two wheeler, now I am driving car. Okay, but the satisfaction uh, I mean, uh, same. I mean, there is no change. If you ask me about like uh, the important, okay, that job is important, this job is important. I mean, I don't. Uh, compare the jobs. Each one is different. Even uh, in our India, the, I mean, the haircut, whatever, whatever, 
like uh, the so I mean the kapde done wala washer man so, ha ha yes. yeah or uh, like uh, I mean everybody I respected each of them because uh, if they like uh, work and if they don't do that one then what happens uh, we cannot survive because yeah, I mean already you answered that everybody has to do their work then only it is like a need or a need or whatever and uh, I mean uh, in India I mean that uh, yes I will give it some different but uh, okay, I came from India but India what happens uh, they don't respect other people if they are in like a different levels or different and uh, I, I mean, <coughs> they, they are not close, I mean, example, okay, some uh, barber is close in India. So what happens if it is in like uh, uh, cities or somewhere, just they give like respect on his face and at that time only. And the inner feeling is different. Okay, because they go by that, I'm getting this much salary and I mean, there are so many things are there. In, in villages at least, they have like some kind of bonding and they feel like, okay, we are, we are together. Somewhere. I don't know nowadays how it is, but when I was a uh, kid, I used to give, I mean, respect to you know, even my father because we used to have that kind of bonding. Even that uh, 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 that guys also they used to come to my home and we used to discuss closely and uh, spend time because uh, that time I, I never felt like okay there is some difference. Again. Yes, you are right. Actually, it is still there here in our society in yeah. India. Yeah. In, in, yeah. in, in uh, one example, I tell you. In, in my grandmother's uh, village, my, my grandmother's village, that time I need to say, not I don't know now, but that time in 80s I need to say, like even they, SCSPs, they have like a separate uh, hallway mm -hmm. and they should not live with, uh, within that, uh, uh, that village also. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yeah. it, it was very yeah. common. They, yes. used to, they used to have like a different well also to mm. take the water. Even if they need any water, they, they stand like too far and we have to give, I mean, the water. It, it's not nowadays, I mean, it's like I'm referring, but I saw this thing. I'm, I'm not saying like the, my grandfather used to tell, it's not like that. I saw. I, mean, uh, I I face that issue. I face it means like a, I know, I saw. Yes, yes, I. So, I hmm. so that is the one thing. And uh, I feel like Shubhaji again, uh, all are equal to God. Okay. He did not uh, say like, okay, you are poor or you are rich or you are a doctor or you are like. A, it, it's like a, a, I mean. Our, our hard work and uh, some God praise and some luck and uh, I mean all things are there. So what happens here, I especially here and it, we are already you visited so many countries and you know, but here especially there is no difference. Even Trump is also the same and even that guy do that thing he is also the same. Maybe if he has that much money, he will buy so many cars or buildings. Uh, that, that is a different story. You yes, see what I am saying? Yes, yes. I do agree with so, you. And uh, actually this is humanity. When you never discriminate uh, the people. When you think and when you have such kind of feeling in your heart that he, he, first of all, when you see anyone who may be a doctor, who may be a barber, who may be a sweeper, 
whoever he or she may be but if you have that kind of feeling in your heart that he is a human being first then it is really humanity and definitely uh, if we have that kind of you know society then definitely it is uh, a kind of ram raj you can say i am not saying like i'm i'm i i do follow 100% like that but sometimes like uh, in our field some arguments i mean that is different story but end of the day we have to treat that way i mean tomorrow how is the, is the family also how we do like some kind of small small things and quarrels and uh, end of the day what happens all are that and you know one you thing know even if you go out of your home in the morning or any time so if your you know guard is there definitely the building guards are there uh, or means some of the people who guard your society or the place if you come out of your home and sometimes even you pat their back sometimes hello how are you they get means very much happy even when you pat their back like this how are you ramesh or whatever his name is hello how are you doing any problem so means of course you just did a very simple thing but that encourages them to be more loyal to you exactly. so i mean the open heart is uh, that is the uh, what uh, is the best way so go see whatever is there keep on smiling and yes yes with the people with the people and uh, that that's how uh, it should go yes yes that's what i feel i'm not saying like um, i do follow like 100% but that makes that, that makes you a nice person when you smile yes. when you talk to people politely hello how are you actually you are losing nothing when you ask people how are you but it give it pays you a lot you yes, you lose nothing but you get lot of thing back even you cannot imagine the what you are going to get back exactly i yeah. agree with you okay so now let's uh, take a topic for reading this is from australia okay actually this is about covid 19 i don't want to read any news about covid well let's take this it is about australia no problem let's read this let's take that topic Australia snakes crash through roof of house. Yes. Okay. So crash means it's like uh, some some kind of uh, 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 I mean. So crash. 
dash through means something means uh, he was violent means that snake was violent and went through the roof. Oh, violent? It's not like some car crash or something. No, 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 no. Snake crashed through roof of means violent and uh, that snake went through the roof. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you mean to say like uh, violent crash? Yes, violent means they were uh, raising, you can say. Okay. So let's start the article from... A man, a man in Australia got a shock when he returned home to find two snakes had crashed through his ceiling and were uh, slithering around his Slithering. Okay. Okay. Slithering. You know, slithering means like this. Yeah. Okay. This is the means the movement of any snake is called slither. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. sit in the sun they they bask means they 
वो सूरज की जो गर्मी है उसको लेते हैं बास्किंग मतलब इन हिंदी भी से धूप सेकते हैं बैठ के ओके मतलब उसको तोड़ दिया था उसको सीलिंग को तोड़ के डेट वॉज ऑन द किचन टेबल Yeah, there the picture. Yes, yes. You can see that on picture. Yes. Yes. Yeah. After feeling, after feeling the state of his feeling, he looked around and eventually found the animals. Okay. Eventually found that after seeing the state of his feeling. Oh, oh. देखने के बाद उसको मालूम पड़ा गया तो स्नेक से वो लड़का थे. Feeling के देखने के बाद. He called in his snake catcher and the ordeal was over pretty quickly. Ordeal means catch. ordeal means actually you know ordeal means uh, like you can say the smell. Okay. Okay. Hmm. He called in his snake catcher and the ordeal was over over pretty quickly. Okay, I certainly did not want to handle them. He said, "Okay, this is a direct speech." Yes. He didn't want to uh, handle. Okay, that's why he called to make catch. Catch, yes. Now you Mister, see the another picture that it is under that Almira. Yeah, yes, yes. They are here. Mr. Brown from North Brisbane Snake Catcher and Relocation told the BBC he is too much of exceptional size compared to the common size that that usually come at the same sentence. So he told to BBC like okay, yeah. uh, told the BBC like okay, these are exceptional. I mean, yeah. so it was not. Until he arrived at the house, that he realized, realized, realized the animal had passed through the ceiling. He said on Facebook, "It was not until he arrived at the house that he realized the animal had passed." Okay, he doesn't know like uh, until he came to home, like uh, that 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 the animal had passed through the ceiling. Means you now imagine the power of these two snakes. Means yeah. they they broke the ceiling. Yes, yes. We are just coming into our snake season as today is the start of the breeding season, and the snakes will only get more active as the temperature rises into our summer period. He told the PBC. So this is the nature of the. Uh, Yes. Uh, that thing he 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 was referring this uh, paragraph. So I, I I'm not sure. Uh, uh, so did but uh, I thought like uh, there are no snakes in US, but I don't know. I never see any snake here, but I thought like uh, no snakes are here. Maybe actually you may be living in uh, you know urban area. So, otherwise, you know, you know, in rural rural areas, you know, where the land is not, you know, metalled, that time they have their, you know, holes inside the land, and they are mm, living there. But when it rains, so the it is filled up of filled up with water, so they come out of their hole. So definitely, they want to see the safe place for them to live in. So sometimes they go into houses and all. This is very common practice even in India. So 
Mr. Brown said that if people came across his name, it was the best to stand still and let the snake move on as they would not see you as a threat. Oh yeah, that means to why are this for you? I mean, and I mean, so you, you should stand still. Me don't make any kind of movement. So yes. they yes. realize that you are not going to hurt them. Yes. So they may move or they can understand that you are not a threat to them. So all states you want to do is escape any threat of danger he had. Yeah, of course. Same people also same thing. <laughs> It's a video also here, so you may watch it later. You want a video? Yeah, yeah. Video is there that that lady is from I think BBC, and uh, yeah. So some, that is the direct speech. Yes. I'm sorry, direct speech. Yeah. That sentence. <laughs> <laughs> this this video I was watching. There, that lady. <laughs> yes. It was interesting actually. Yes, yes, sometimes, yes. It was interesting for us, but he was that man who found yeah, that, yeah, who yeah. found it's the scary, snakes right. in his house. <laughs> yes, it's a scary right? <coughs> well. Okay. So Okay, so these days uh, you told me something that your daughter is going to some university, college. Yeah, yeah, I dropped her on Monday. Okay, so she has gone to another city. No, same city. It's like thirty-five miles from my place. Okay, okay, okay. So I mean thirty-five she, miles means a fifty kilometers. So she is going to stay there itself. Yes, yes. In a hostel? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So you means went there to drop her? Yes. Okay. She will be studying there and she will come back to you after some time? Yes, whenever she has heard. Normally what happens, uh, I, I used to bring her every week, Friday night and uh, I drop her again on Monday morning or Sunday evening. But because of the COVID, what's happened, they put some kind of rules. Every time if we leave the they leave the uh, campus, they have to go for the again, test, corona test. So I don't want to mm -hmm. have it. take her every week. So we have to see how it goes. Hmm. So you may be missing her, or you yes, yes, yes. you. It's been long time, right? Suppose uh, yeah. it's like uh, she has been here like almost from March, right? Hmm. Uh, this is the first time in I mean, these many days staying at home. So even me also, it's a uh, coming. Yeah. But this is life actually, you know, ultimately means the children, they have to go away from us for the study sometimes, for the job, or yeah. ultimately we will be alone. Yes, yeah, you are right. That, that, that is life. <laughs> it goes like this. So, that's why, you know, these days I want to make myself busy in you know some activities like watching movies and all all these yeah. Yeah. this is the best time to pass we are free we can watch we can pass our time together so we can do that well yeah. so uh, let's finish today and uh, see you again. Yeah.
today is Tuesday, right? Yes, it is Tuesday. So yeah. let me know the next class you want to have. Yeah, actually, I have like some demo on Thursday. So let me see the timing.